exactly. Loud boat. All right, cool, cool. <laughs> oh man, this is like one of the first games I ever like recall playing. I mean, I guess that just shows how young I am. But it's uh. All right, the the subject has been brought up. How young <laughs> are you, sir? I'm 25 years of age. 25. Let's see. So 95. 1995, good sir. Right. That's, uh, I just got to figure out like where exactly to kick Beltran in the nuts over how young you are. Because we <laughs> we talked to Penelope uh, two oh, years yeah. ago and determined that she was born after the release of Batman Begins, the Christian Bale Batman. Oh, wait, really? <laughs> correct, correct. Wow. So and... that, was, that, was, that was before she was, she was born. Old man, and, everybody. And after 9-11. Correct, correct. I think that's what blows my mind a lot. I mean, do you, do you have memories pre-9-11? I do. Uh, I mean, I have memories of that day. Yeah. Um, um, kinda, yeah. I, I was born in California. I remember those days a little bit. Uh-huh. So, and then we moved here in 98, so that would have made me three. And we, like, moved to, and built a house in Murphy, if you're familiar where that is. Uh, and, uh, your family bought it, built a house out there? Yeah, yeah, we built a house in Murphy, uh, which is like an e next to East Plano. Mm -hmm. And I, we lived there for quite a long time. I miss it. And now I'm living in Wiley. Uh, when did right you move next out to, to you. Texas? Uh, 1998. Okay. So, you have, so do you have any pre-Texas memories? A little bit. Uh -huh. Like, kind of just like flashes. <laughs> gotcha. Baby flashes. So. Yeah, I spent... I was born in... Um, what do we have to? It's the Free Play Hall of Fame. So it's Jonathan Kim. Um, we have a full day's worth of stuff. Simple interest. <laughs> um, so, let's see. I'm trying to find your Hall of Fame picture. Let's look at this thing. <laughs> um, so, no, no pre-Texas memories, really, just flashes. I, I have some of, like, Louisiana from when mm -hmm. I was less than seven. I have none of being born and spending my first year in Temple, Texas. Oh, Temple, I'm, man. I'm happy I was born in Texas. I'll put it that way. Mm -hmm. I am Texas through and through. Yeah, I've been here for so long. Oh, like, the majority of my life, it just feels like I can't ever leave. <laughs> I mean, why would you? Exactly. Because that's where Free Play Arcade is. Exactly. Uh, how did you find Free Play? That's a good question. I, I think about that all the time. Um, I I, I want to say like it was five years ago or something or four years ago because it was right like, right when I turned twenty one, so February twelfth, twenty sixteen, somewhere around then. I want to say it was like a Facebook ad, and then I was like Bryce and I we've been friends ever since, and I was like Bryce, dude, you gotta go, and then we checked it out one day at night. I was man, it might have been like a Thursday night. I, I remember it wasn't that crowded. So it couldn't have been a weekend. But yeah, we went out. Um, we played Soul Calibur when I was there. Oh, uh, wow. I remember. That was, that was a long time ago. That's in Denton now. Yes. And I remember uh, Bryce and I, we were just playing Soul Calibur. And then we were unaware of, like, I guess, fighting game etiquette or something. Where, like, I guess you lose one and the next or something. And then the guy, the guy who got on, like, because I lost to Bryce. So the guy who got in my spot, he totally wrecked Bryce, perfect him double times. And, like, we just left it after that. And we were like, well. Never playing Soul Calibur again. And I don't know who it was. I want to know who it was, but it's it's been so long. I can't help you. Like I I, I don't know. I, I've, <laughs> I've played I've played Soul Calibur. I actually won Soul Calibur Tuesday Night Fights a couple times. God. But I like don't know the game that well. I would always be reading the moves off the moves list. See, I, I didn't even know I didn't even know you could do moves in that game, because like, I had it on Dreamcast. Mm -hmm. Like I guess. When I was like one of the greatest first arcade grade. ports of all time, by the way, the Dreamcast port. Really, really? Absolutely, okay, because yes. I I always thought it played well. I mean, I, I but while button mashing, but I would just pick Killick and yeah, just <laughs> just use his little pole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Well, it was like so the Dreamcast release, like of course the arcade is arcade perfect. Of course, like of course it's the arcade and, and that's that's mm -hmm. the way to experience that but like the dreamcast version had a bunch of stuff that, that you could only add on to something like a console port so the graphics were in high res mm -hmm. um they had the um they had 
uh, story mode, like a very, very intense, like things that could be unlocked. Um, I don't know if you've played a modern Mortal Kombat game with all the unlockables. Yes, I played with uh, James Matthews recently. Gotcha. MK, is it 11 right now? I think so, and I haven't played since 9. But like that, that style of having a bunch of content that's not necessarily round one fight uh, comes <laughs> from what I remember in the Dreamcast port of Soul Calibur 1, which was just phenomenal. I, I just remember the Dreamcast in general just having just incredible graphics mm-hmm. at the time, and just I think they still look great to me. <laughs> so, some people say know. that's the best home port of uh, Super Turbo as well, the one on Dreamcast. Yeah, and that's the I one keep... that they used for Evo for some time. Really? Wow. Yes. Yes. Okay. Didn't know that. Yeah. Um. Let's see. So Soul Calibur, and did you ever play Soul Calibur again? <laughs> Oh my gosh! Uh, I played it once at Dutton. Uh, what it, man was it Ziggy? Is yes, that his name? Ziggy. Yeah, yeah. So Ziggy was like, "Dude, you gotta see me play Soul Calibur." Um, I think he plays Maxi one-handed, right? <laughs> Is that him? Or I, I, maybe, maybe. Don't, so don't I most think, most play, Zach, Maxi players play Maxi one-handed to just <laughs> mash the buttons? Yeah, yeah. And then we played for like a good twenty minutes, and then he's like, "All right, I gotta go. Like, don't play Balrog ever again." <laughs> St. I'm like, oh, all right. And then, yeah, I don't know. That was one of my few times in Denton. Gotcha. So, a Claw player in ST. What, what, what made you decide on Claw? Okay. Um, well, I don't know if it's famous, famously, who I began playing. But I, uh, Jose always brings it up, and Aaron Morales. They, they said that they always saw me like playing Ken in the beginning. I don't know. I, there was just something like because I think I always remembered picking Ken for like the SNES port of some Street Fighter Two game because mm-hmm. I don't remember like I don't remember Vega. I don't remember any of like the new challengers or whatever. I remember like the I guess the original eight, or whatever, and two. Yeah, World Warrior. Yeah, yeah, something like that. And then um, yeah, I kept playing Ken, and then a wise old guy who would pick the white colored variant of Claw, Mister Mister Jesus. Mm-hmm. He, he, I think he got on the other side once, or I saw him play, and I thought that was the coolest thing ever. I'm like, you could, you could jump like that in this game. <laughs> I, I assume he was doing like some crazy input, and then I was like, holy moly! Yeah. He just he sat there the whole time, and I'm like, man, that that guy's got some, some I don't know, some some skills. <laughs> yeah. uh, Jesus does have skills. Like he's he in the in the first year of Tuesday Night Fights, he won more than anybody else. And I mean at any game. So he won wow. versus Capcom 1 many times. He won <laughs> like... Super Turbo many times. Wow. Mortal Kombat 2. Um, what else did he win? It just it just felt like anything that we, we, we threw a tournament on, he would if he showed up, he would win. Um, he went undefeated in Garu Mark of the Wolves and then had to leave his, <laughs> his family. And he didn't know how to play the game. It's just going... That's amazing. Yeah, he is amazing. It's just just incredible fundamentals, and then you give him the best character in the game, and well, <laughs> it's really really hard to beat him. No kidding. Yeah, and I've I've played him in all the uh, all the aforementioned games too, and he's and he, he's always such a good sport too, which is what I appreciate. Me and too. Uh, I know I I I began as a good sport, and uh, now <laughs> now we know my behavior, but it's uh. I guess I guess, I guess you are a wise ass now. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're, no you're, I just think you're the nicest guy in the world. I don't know. No, it's it's all funny, but if I do that to someone random, oh man, like they're they're gonna think I was gonna like you know catch their fists. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Catch their hands. Catch their hands. No, no it, there's some. I, I don't know what it is about claw players like that just seem to attract nice people. I don't know. I don't know how that's the thing, but like you're incredibly sweet. You may be the sweetest. Uh, Tiger Lily thinks you're the sweetest. Um, <laughs> Jesus is is very very nice. Um, oh, Carlitos, back from uh, from Facebook. <laughs> Good to hear from you, sir. Good to hear from you, <laughs> Miss Carlitos. Um, so yeah, Jesus really nice. Jesse James really nice. Have you have you played with him much? Um, Mr. Clone guy. Yeah, Clone man. Yes, I haven't. Man, I haven't seen him in a minute. But there's a lot of people I haven't seen in a minute. But hope right. he's doing well. Yes, he lives in Arlington, so I see him maybe once a week or so in Arlington now. Yeah. Um, 
I definitely played him recently. Um, and who else do we got locally? There's one more claw player I can think of. Well, Tommy used That's true. to. Tommy? I mean, he'll come back soon. And then you have, <laughs> I guess, you know, you have the off, off claws, like, you know, Jerry, Rob, and Dylan Clay. But I don't know if I count them. I kind of uh, do count them, because you I, never know. I would, I wouldn't totally. Although I, I, I'm, I am happy that you've seen the Jerry play Claw because <laughs> originally he would play all charge characters. Honda was not his main initially. In fact, really, I don't even know what to say his main was initially because he would just pick anybody. It seems mm -hmm. uh, fearless always. Like the dude has no fear of anything ever. And he would I definitely pick Claw. We were all terrible, by the way. Like he couldn't do the wall dive at all. He didn't know what it was. Oh my gosh. Was um, this one that was on Big Blue? Yes. And he would do wow. like the roll over and over again. <laughs> Actually, Jerry is the person who told me to do Scarlet Terror because I didn't know the input for it. And I, did, I mean, I don't know. And then, yeah, he was like, dude, that's like one of his best moves, man. And that, I guess that's why I always spam it because he was always like, Scarlet Terror me, Jonathan, do it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, we're always trying to help each other. We all, I, I think, I think, it's, it's just part of our community to want to see everybody play better, including the claw players, as much as you might hate it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Because if, exactly. if you don't get better, then we don't get better against claw, and vice versa. Like, it just never, never helps. I mean, he's in, he's in the game. He's in the game, and, it, and he's the best character in the game, so it's not like you're not going to see him if you travel. <laughs> in fact, I want to say in my travels, uh, I was knocked out of Combo Breaker by a boxer and a claw. Um, I was, I want to say, I did not play a claw in CEO. Um, I was knocked out of the Los Angeles qualifier by a claw player. Um, Andy Wait, you, like this this past LA one? Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, no, it's all good. Well, yes, you should be sorry because you're the local <laughs> claw and I need to be better against claw. And that, that, that is actually how I feel about it. Like... When um, whenever somebody travels and loses to a sim player, um, oh, that yeah. definitely makes me feel like I haven't done my job. So I uh, I'm always happy whenever, as much as I love the sim players out there in the world, um, when my when my local my, my local buddies go traveling, I want to see them whoop up on all sims and say, yeah, yeah, well you should play Chris as sim. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. that's that's the end goal, huh? It, it is, it is, like with all things. But you know what, it's, it's, I guess the end goal is like one of us being the very, very best, right? Like, like being Japanese Very true. I, I, I don't, I don't want to like set the goal any lower than that, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's a long journey and we are a billion steps from there. But like, I definitely want to be looking around and saying like, yep, one of our guys just beat one of the Japanese players because... We did a community in which, like, it could foster that type of player. So, and that's why mm -hmm. I'm never, never into like judging people for being on their plateaus or, or, you know, wherever they sit as a player, whether they're noob or intermediate. Um, like, I want to give them an avenue to improve. But also, if they mm -hmm. stay right there, it, it creates like this whole like pyramid of people that like you can, you can play with and play someone on your level, and someone new can emerge and rise up and bring us all up the mountain with them. No, oh, definitely, definitely. You know, another reason why I, you know, I kept coming to free play. You know, you, you mentioned community a lot in your recent description just now, and like, uh, yeah, I don't know, Jerry, Yang, Carlos. I remember like when Carlos noted, noticed me coming a lot. He was like, Is "This your new hangout space, hangout space or what?" I'm like, "I guess." <laughs> and then I don't know. It, there's something about it. I I work ten minutes away, mm -hmm. um, and I was just like, you know, it's kind of it was like a safe haven for me because I. I was you know feeling a little down like last February or something, and then I just started coming every day. I'm like, hey, here I am, and of course, Pong. <laughs> it's been great having you. It's been great having you. Thank you. Yeah, it feels great just like going to any free play location, seeing somebody you know. Like I think it's just crazy to me. Like how do I, how do I communicate with such amazing people through a local arcade? Yeah, which <laughs> is it's it's beyond me, but I I respect. It. I love it. I feel, I feel the same way. I do want to share the love also. Like, I feel the same way, and, you know, I started the community group, but, like, I've always been a proponent of... I want everybody to be the star in the arcade, right? Like, like, and you are. Like, you walk into any any free play, and 
If they don't know you immediately, then there's rumors swirling around that, oh my god, have you seen this guy play Pong? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that reminds me, because I, I was talking to Bryce, I think, months ago. I was like, you know what, I think it's cool about free play. Some, like, everybody has their game, or everybody has, like, their moment in free play that, like, you just remember. And it's, uh, I, I love it. I don't know if it's, it's almost like a favorite, it's almost like a favorite color, or like, a fa I don't know, something. Or I don't, I don't know where I was going with that, but... Alright, right, so tell just, me about Pong. When was the first time you saw it? Have you seen Pong before that table that's behind the picture right now? No. No. Oh, wait, 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 like, like the original Pong? Sure. Or, man, I remember playing, like, web-based games, like, Flash games of Pong. Um, like, I've played Breakout before, but I don't think I've ever played Pong before. Like, no, Pong, Pong. I, I think... Yeah, I told you about my love for Arkanoid. Mm -hmm. And, um, because that, that was the game I would always binge, like, five or six hours at when I first went to free play back in, like, 2016. Uh, tournament Arkanoid. Yes, we now in Denton, now. right? Yeah, we have both uh, I yeah, want to say then, Fort Worth um, has the original Arkanoid and Denton has Tournament Arkanoid, but I'm not totally sure if, if Tournament Arkanoid is still on the floor. Yeah, and I would... If it was at Richardson, I'd spend, like, a couple hours again. But, you know, I'm, I'm loyal to FPR. I don't know. Uh, but backtracking... No worries, no worries. Yeah, backtracking to Pong. Um, so, what? Well, I, rem I distinctly remember, like, seeing the Facebook post for it. Mm -hmm. And then Bryce is like, dude, this looks so cool. And, like, I hadn't been to free play in years before that. And I was like, man, it's going to be the same thing over again. Like, I'm just going to, you know, buy four of the same beers and just play one game. Why would I do that when I could do that at home? And we went. We just fell in love. Yeah. <laughs> the game was fun. I don't know. And it was, I think, it was the hype the the caption of that post which is like oh it's like the first the first one in the world or something a release in public i'm like that's pretty cool which is true it, it's real yeah. too it's just so weird it is very weird and uh i love i, I love playing have you heard the the radio the radio uh segment where they're trying to describe to the old guy yes what pong is or what your version of pong is yes i remember that i remember that uh, the ticket stock thing. No, not ticket stock. Uh, the ticket, right? Yes, the, the ticket. ticket. Yeah, thing. they they tried because they had gone. They one of their old. He's retired now. Uh, Co-host was obsessed. Like the only arcade game, the only video game he was aware of was Pong. So anytime oh, anybody brought so up, oh, so like, oh, <laughs> interesting, cool. Yeah. So it was like a you know how we have drops and we play whatever to to poke fun of Beltran. Well, we get that from them, mm. and they would always play drops of him mispronouncing Pong. <laughs> oh, like P A W N G. Correct. Yes. My, so it's the infamous Mike Reiner. Correct. Yes, Mike Reiner is the is the host indeed. <laughs> and so he only knows one arcade game. So when they came to free play Arlington, they were like, "Where's Pong?" Well, oh. There. Um, but like that was before this Pong, right? Before mm -hmm. the the Atari Pong, whatever. I forget the company that made it. Do you remember? Eunice, 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 Eunice. the before Canadian Eunice. Canadian based company, I think. Yeah. So before that was released, they, they had come to Free Play Arlington and were looking for Pong. So when um, his partner, uh, Corby Davidson, had been there, and I was actually there. Uh, he, you were there as well. When I Corby was there was. too. I was there too, yeah. yes. Yeah, and I, I don't think you played him. I don't think you met him. No, I was playing uh, Super Turbo all the time. Uh, I think Corey Herndon was bartending, though. Correct, yes. Yes, and he knew who he was. I recognized him instantly. <laughs> uh, and, and they were over there playing Pong because of course they're playing Pong his, his partner was obsessed with it and I walked oh. over there and I was like you know just so you know like the Pong world champion is right over there oh my god you got mentioned on the radio you got mentioned I know I heard like, that not that by name cool. but like by the reputation PW, the PWC exists yes it's a it's an honor <laughs> truly an honor um so Pong world champion where does that come from? I think it came from you. Uh, yes, but it, you did earn the title at least. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you're holding the trophy. Look at that. I know. Is that a trophy I, you own? Do you have that? It's right next to me. Oh my goodness. I didn't even know there were going to be trophies provided. I think some. I think did you post on Twitter? Somebody posts on Twitter, like before the tournament, like, oh, like we have these trophies to give out or something. Uh, probably me. Yes. Yeah, um, I don't, cause I walked in, I didn't, and I was like, I didn't think I was going to get a trophy. I thought it was just $100. I'm like, that's a lot of beer. <laughs> and I was like, got to do it. And a giant golden cup to drink it out of. Yeah. That tournament was, uh, man, that was long. 
I know you were sick that day. I was. Yes. Uh, it was. It was so. God, it, man, you know how stun days can get long. No, this this tournament was something else. It was <laughs> it was such a bad experience. I was I, like, I didn't want to play anymore. Okay, I feel I feel bad. Uh, I feel bad about that because I I normally to all the tournaments at free play. I was indeed ill that day, mm -hmm. and I don't take a lot of days off. I don't take a lot of a lot of sick days. Um, so to, to, to know that I, I wasn't there lets you know how ill I was at the time. Yeah. Um, you know, but that's part of being a tournament organizer is making sure that the, the tournament doesn't drag on or the rule set isn't such that it'll go on forever. Um, <laughs> and it wasn't in my hands. So <laughs> I feel bad that you had a, that anybody had a bad experience with that. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't on me for sure. <laughs> Yeah, I it, think um, the format got changed in the middle of the tournament, which is a huge yep. no-no. Yeah, like that's something you just don't do as a tournament organizer. Like going to five points and then switching to seven is that's that's a big jump, honestly. And then uh, and then first it was like single elimination. Then they changed it after people played to like double elim. I was like, I don't understand what's going on. Right. Like I was stressing out. I was like, oh man, we might all get knocked out. <laughs> right. Which so. you know, for for good reasons, being being stressed out. Like it's not. That's that's why you don't change the format in the middle of a tournament. I mean, yeah, this, this yeah, is the yeah. most obvious thing in the world to me, but I've done a million tournaments, so you just mm -hmm. you have to stick with a you have to pick a rule set and you have to stick with that rule set at least you know event to event, right? You can change it between events if you want to update the rules for the next spring series, then so be it. But uh, even if even if it's if it's got some sort of quirk in it that makes it unfair, uh, for example, claw not being banned. <laughs> Those are the rules. Those are the rules. Yeah. So if someone wants to pick Claw, then they're welcome to it. And if they want to pick Akuma, well, Akuma is actually banned. Banned. <laughs> right. Exactly. But yeah, I don't know. That, uh, man, that tournament, though. I don't know. It was, uh, and then I think Ray and, like, Jerry Holt think that there was, like, some sort of collusion because, uh, I think the top three was me, then Bryce, then, uh, uh Steven Ware, who's uh -huh. my coworker. Okay. Who, who, I told him about this Pong machine. He's like, dude, it sounds really interesting. But then, yeah, he fell in love with that machine too. And uh, he also fell in love with Simpsons, I think. Like the arcade cabinet. So, yeah. And we're all kind of friends. And <laughs> we, we just swept the, swept the standings. I don't know. We. I, I don't then, think it's collusion. You guys were grinding away at that game from day one. As you said, you yeah. showed up at free play just for Pong. I so. mean... Yeah, but like it, when it was right next to ST. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I would. I spent, I think, eight hours a day playing Pong. That's incredible. I'm, I I'm very happy that like somebody cares about Pong that much. I, I would, really am. Like I know, like when you first mentioned, well, when I first heard of like the 25-hour charity event, I'm like, hey, if you bring Pong over there, I'll play it for 25 hours in a row. Like I, I could. I mean, I feel like that's still on the table, right? If we, yeah, if we do the 25-hour, I don't. I don't know what the heck's going on these days. Um, oh my gosh, life yeah. Life's been a little bit weird this year. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I don't think that's the craziest thing in the world, to, to have someone play Pong for 25 hours. <laughs> might give you I a, mean, a chair. but If Lauren can play Tapper for, was it 14 hours? No, no, it wasn't no, 14. How she long? played How long? for 24 and a half hours. Oh my god, hey, see, I can do 25. Mm -hmm. And Tapper's harder. <laughs> that's like... Yes. Uh, oh, her score was like 14 million. That's why I said 14, right? 14 and some change. Yes, I believe you're right. Something something like that, yeah. But yeah, no, it's... Uh, oh, I'd love to do that eventually. But uh, I, I do miss that game at Free Play, though. Uh, Richardson, I miss that game at Richardson. Yeah. yeah, currently we found it. It is at Free Play Fort Worth. <laughs> uh, a long, a, alongside Guitar Hero 2. Uh, Guitar Hero <laughs> Arcade. Gut yeah, Guitar Hero Arcade. Guitar Hero um, as well. And yeah, um, actually, technically in another room. Have you been to Free Play Fort Worth yet? No, I haven't. Uh, that mean actually would I'm gonna go there soon, very soon. Because really? Guitar Hero, yeah, Guitar Hero is uh, I guess one of the games that got me <laughs> got me into like oh I'm gonna get roasted for this, but like I guess rhythm games. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I don't know. I know there's Guitar Hero is very polarizing within the rhythm game it, community. It's polarizing after in general uh, <laughs> after. Um, the split with uh, harmonics. That's, that's oh when yeah, it yes, polarizing. yeah. Because Activision bought them out, and that's where Three Legends of Rock came. Correct. Yes. And then, yeah. 
So before then, it's just a highly, highly influential rhythm game. Like, maybe mm-hmm. the, the that and, like, DDR, um, like, really, really... I don't know who else to put in that in that vein mm-hmm. of super influential. No, like like a ton of good, ton of families, ton of my friends had Guitar Hero, and I was like, whoa, this is. I mean, dare I say it, it was almost like Call of Duty. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, everybody, I mean, everybody I had guess, it. Yep. Um, I remember I had two guitars for Guitar Hero One. Um, mm-hmm. It was just the ultimate party game. Like when you showed somebody Guitar Hero for the first time, <laughs> it was like it was like magic. And then Rock Band comes out, and then the, the party starts, like... Yes. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, I man. believe uh, Jerry worked on Rock Band? I say Rock Band. Really? Is it... may have been Guitar Hero 2. It, it was definitely a harmonics employee, though. Not a... Yeah, my, uh... They're the Best Buy next to Fire Wheel Mall. Uh, when I was back in, uh, I think, middle school, when... Mm-hmm. Man, it wasn't eighth grade. My mom would drop me off there, and they would—they had a rock band set up. Mm-hmm. So my mom would like love to shop at Firewheel for like fifty hours, and I'm like, I'm not trying to sit there and just like watch your window shop and or shop. And then she's like, you want me to just drop you off at Best Buy? I'm like, sure. And then yeah, I got dropped off at Best Buy. I memorized the unlock all songs code. <laughs> I just played, I played rock band for like five or six hours straight, and the employees were just like, rock on, man. I was like, cool. And then uh, our did you ever go to the Galleria Mall? Like, uh, yes. I think, eight, like eight, nine years ago or something. They had the Sony store, if you remember that. Mm-hmm. They had they had a Guitar Hero 3 set up there. <laughs> so, same thing when my mom went to the Galleria. She would just drop me off at that store. Well, I would, I would walk there by myself. First thing. And I would stay there for like eight hours playing Guitar Hero. And, um, yeah, I, I, uh, I beat through the fire and flames like constantly. And then like the employees would just be like, oh my god. I'm like, yeah, it's not hard. <laughs> it's um, not hard. It's not hard. I mean, full comboing it, that's a different story, but like, I, I personally think beating that song, it's not hard. Okay. Um, uh, I can only five star it, but yeah, it's, um, they, it was, uh, it came, to, it was, there was at a point where like the employees knew my name. Mm-hmm. They're like, how are you doing, Jonathan? I'm like, I'm doing good. And then they like Hello, handed J-Pong. me like, yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> pre, pre J Pong. Um, this is like grade nine or something, I think. Mm-hmm. But yeah, they, they like handed me some Sony lanyards. I'm like, oh, thank you. You're like, hey, thanks. Like, you, the kids love it when you play. Like, I guess, you know, they're like, oh my gosh. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. It was, that was a weird, I haven't thought about those days in a while. But no, I, yeah. I, I, I'm with you. Like, I, I'm, I may be quite a bit older, but like, I have, I have similar stories of just, I was the poor kid in Louisiana and they dropped me off at the, any place that had a, uh, some sort of display game and yeah i would just go crazy mm-hmm. on it of course it, we're talking like sonic the hedgehog one or something like that <laughs> but it's yeah. quite the different era yeah and then i, I guess like similar stories you know like cinemark you know how they always had house of the dead yes i remember when they got house of the dead 4 <laughs> i was like oh my god my mom would give me like 25 bucks i wouldn't even watch the movie i'd just play it oh. i spent all 25 dollars just playing i know uh, yeah. i got a man but, after uh, my own heart as I yes. completely ignored Titanic just to play Indy 500, <laughs> that game works great fine. I guess that's where you know, obviously like a pot, like an arcade, you know, stream. I guess it's not too out of the blue why I go to free play every day because I remember distinctly my mom would take me to Nickel Rama uh-huh. every weekend, and I would just get those. Is that the one in Garland or the one in Addison? Yes, okay. Garland, Garland. It's not too far from Free Play Richardson actually. Yes, that's where I played it's... pinball before free play was a thing. Mm-hmm. It's uh, it's also where I first started playing any sort of arcade game, and it, mm-hmm. it's been so long since I've been there. I know it's probably changed oh, big time. Man. I may have been there with Kelly. It's, Maybe. it's very, it's very possible. <laughs> but that that was the place, and uh, we don't we don't live too close to it either. And yeah, my mom would just take us, and I had birthday parties there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then I had birthday parties at main event too, and that was uh, about that place. But yeah, I don't know. I, I guess I kind of have been, you know, like an arcade junkie ever since I was, I guess well, four or five. You found the so. right place. I mean, oh, for sure, for sure. Like free play, I, I love it. It's a man. I I, lo- I love having you there. If I if I go to Free Play Richardson and you're not there, something <laughs> feels wrong. Like something, honestly, something feels like really really wrong. Yeah, honestly, I'm surprised I'm not there just talking to you on the phone there. You know, I don't. I mean, I'll just... probably depending on when I get done with match game, I might see you later. I know your yeah, I gotta, car is currently parked there. Yeah, you know, I gotta get 
James Matthews to drive me there. <laughs> Tell me about that. Are you are you, you you roll with the same people? Are you guys friends before free play? Are you friends <laughs> through free play? No, I didn't know anybody there except Bryce and Trey Gamble before uh -huh. free play. I didn't know anybody. And um, yeah, I guess um, it was just one night. James and I were just playing uh, Super Turbo or something, and then. I was like, oh, I'm gonna find this dude on Facebook. He's pretty cool, like very, very genuine guy. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I found him. And I'm like, lives in Wiley, Texas. And then he messages me. He's like, dude, you live in Wiley? I'm like, yeah. Where do you, where do you live? And he's like, off country club. I'm like, oh my gosh. And then he's like, why? And I'm like, I live on Star Point. And he's like, I live on Leeward, which is like the street <laughs> across. Mm -hmm. So it like, yeah, it's we're neighbor. We're basically neighbors. What but is it about Wiley and playing boss characters in ST? <laughs> Is there a uh, is there a Sagat player in Wiley that I don't know about? Is, is there? Man, I don't know. No, it's I don't know who else lives in. Oh no, uh, actually, Brooks, the I, vampire savior player, lives in Wiley. I uh, there you go. He plays Sagat. There you go. Yeah. Does he? <laughs> he plays Sagat. He does. Yeah. He. I uh, thought he's, he, he he's been switching old to Ken. O Ken of yeah. late, but yeah, his. If you look at the the Great Naomi Massacre. Uh, oh my God! One of those, one of those victims was Brooks playing uh, Osagat. <laughs> Good Lord! Yeah, hey, it's um, it's hard to deal with Chun, especially when she's on a roll. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I agree with that. I mean, I I play Claw, so. <laughs> so I I seen you play Pong Super Turbo. You've grown grown an affinity for Marvel, I guess. Have you? <laughs> From the famous Mauricio Marquez, uh -huh. the no, well, the infamous, the notorious, infamous, yes, guy himself, the man who know, once like... stopped down a Marvel vs. Capcom tournament because we thought he was bleeding on the machine. Instead, <laughs> wait, what? I, if you look back at one of the original Tuesday Night Fights, is he the first or the second one that involved Marvel? Uh, it's back on the U on the YouTube where we post all the uh -huh. the um the different videos. Uh, it's still there. Um, there's a point when it just stops down, like three quarters of the way through after a Mauricio match. And because, like, we look down at the buttons. This is one big blue, right? Uh huh. It's just, it's just blood red. Just blood red. <laughs> and it's like, oh my god. Like, what happened? Somebody's profusely bleeding. He was drinking some cider that was red or something. <laughs> and he had a big bottle, as you might guess, and it just sloshed over on the buttons. And. <laughs> <laughs> it had. It wasn't. It wasn't Jeremy Golden. It was. It was. We looked at the tape. I. I looked at the tape later because it was the craziest thing. Because someone bleeding that much must have been <laughs> like aware of it, but nobody seemed to be screaming in pain. Uh, indeed, it was Mauricio <laughs> doing this before a match and just sloshed all of his uh, his drink somewhere. Uh, oh my Orlando gosh. like cleaned the the panel, completely changed all the buttons. Wow. Um, right there. So it's <laughs> like the whole tournament stops down um, for, for a good 15 minutes. Thank, thank goodness Orlando was there at the time. At the hands of Mauricio himself. <laughs> so yes, you're right. He is a bit infamous. Um, uh, but yeah, um, I guess. I don't know. It's, it's the funniest thing when he says that. Like, yeah. uh, like it's, it's so funny. Like I, I don't think I'll forget the first time. I think the first time I met him, was along with like Sandra and Whitney. It was the night of the Pong tournament. Uh huh. <laughs> and then Sandra took my trophy and like ran around the arcade with it. <laughs> I'm like, give it back to me. And then, you know, Mauricio was a little inebriated. He was saying some stuff to Mauricio. me. Mauricio. Like, inebriated. Yeah, a, a tiny, a tiny bit, mm. tiny bit. Mm. Just, just a tad. But yeah, I mean, you know, that's, as of lately, been hanging out with them. You know, cool, he's a cool cat. You know, I didn't know him and James were cool. So they went to the state fair with each other. I'm like, what? You guys are you guys are cool with each other like that? Well, I, um... I, I, I missed the trip to Mauricio's house recently. <laughs> oh, gosh. The infamous trip to Mauricio's <laughs> house. Sorry, um, I missed you. No comment. No comment about that night. You can ask DJ Terminator Mike B. Sorry, I missed you. Oh, it was. <laughs> uh, I guess, so we're jumping all over the place as far as games. What, what are your top five games at free play for you? Oh, my God. Top five? Um, I don't want to like. I don't want to make you. You got a picture of Pong. Your, your name's Pong, so um, I, I don't necessarily want to narrow you down to, to one. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I'll do it from a uh, five to five to one. Okay. Fifth to first. Okay. Man, actually, okay. Fifth. I got to go with Arkanoid. Arkanoid. Okay. 
Even though the I haven't played it in a while. Tournament Arkanoid or Arkanoid? Uh, I don't I don't remember. I played the one in Denton, and it was there like in the November or something around then. The one that was there that okay. the winter. Okay. Played that. So we got five down. Um Oh man, what could four be? Um House of the Dead too. I don't know. Even though like I just have a lot of memories of the game. Mm. And even though I get like arthritis or something playing that, like I it's just so fun. Did, did you one code at that game? No, heck no. Oh. My aim is terrible. <laughs> um, uh, I, I did it. You said arthritis, so I thought maybe you were a player yeah. who could. Um, uh, actually, no, no, no. No, I will, I will replace House of the Dead 2 with the OG, the infamous, Lucky and Wild. Lucky and Wild? Nice. I talk about that like every other week at free. I'm like, bring it back. Nobody wants Time Crisis. Great like, game. Because have you ever tried playing Lucky and Wild as both characters with a drink in hand? Not with a drink. With but, but with yes, a drink in hand. I have, like, have that, played both characters. That, I want to say me and Orlando, the, the aforementioned Orlando, have the arcade record for Lucky and Wild. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. It, I I just heard that there was a lot of issues keeping on the floor or something, right? And well, it's a, it's an older game, so yeah. There, there's, you know, that, I know they had they have more than one Lucky and Wild in the in the lab, but yeah. Uh, uh, that was the first was... Um, ladies' night yep. was on Lucky and Wild. Oh. Uh. Yeah, that that game just blew my mind. I'm like, you could, oh, man, it was so fun. Uh, now I'm on three, I guess. Gyrus. Gyrus. That's okay. if I'm not playing Street Fighter two or USF four or whatever game Bryce wants me to play or anybody, I'll be on Gyrus. I'm trying to set the high. I'm trying to set the arcade high score. I can do oh, it. I hope you can get there. Oh, it's like what 400 to 800, either or. Uh, and it sure. don't matter. Okay. Don't matter, but yeah, you'll get there. It's a uh, because that game. Once you get past Earth, point. it repeats. So yeah. Can you get past and Earth? Is my first question. M my issue is, it's like a very momentum-based game for me personally. If I die once, I quit, and I need to like get out of that habit. Because uh -huh. I don't know, like I think I made it to like 290k without dying, and then I died. I'm like, oh man, like that's when all hell broke loose. I, I have I similar issues with uh, with Galaga, which is a similar game. Our game of the month this week. Or this this month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I, whenever it goes bad, it goes bad in waves. Yep. Yeah, Gallup Man. I remember taking my dad to free play Richardson on Mother's Day of last year. I know, very interesting day to take him. <laughs> but it's, yeah, he, uh, he played Gallagher the there? whole time. I don't know. I met Shannon but, on Mother's Day at, at free play. <laughs> but yeah, I like, uh, he played Gallagher. He got like, he got like 180, like out of nothing. I'm like, dang, dad, still got it in you. Because I remember one of the first games I had was like, it was a Tekken PlayStation game or something, and uh, it was a, some Galaga, some new Galaga game or something. Oh, oh. oh yeah, yeah, Tekken One. The, the the load screen to Tekken One on PlayStation One. Well, it was a tech. It was a, it was Galaga, it was Galaga, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, you unlock Devil Kazuya by beating all the bonus levels in Galaga. Oh my gosh. That reminds me of like that that Mortal Kombat Pong or whatever thing. Maybe, but you have to do like something crazy, right? Oh yes, uh, I want to say it's a hundred straight victories in <laughs> oh my God. one of them. Who's Octavio's son? What's his name again? Winston. Winston. Could he probably do that? Winston could probably do that, right? Yes, yes, playing himself over and over again, just doing the fatalities <laughs> to infinity. And yeah, oh he's got gosh. an overall one hundred streak. He uh, he did it during a uh, a kid's birthday party. Wow! Just rolled a bunch of kids for one hundred four oh victories. God. The only the grandfather. Didn't. I think we have two, because we don't. Yeah. We don't take uh, our like win streak high scores on fighting games. Yeah, we got we got Jeremy him. Withers. Jeremy Withers with his hundred games Zangief. Correct. Yes. So he has the all time record on USF four. I don't know if that's listed. Maybe it is. It should be. That was a that was a great night. That was a Sunday night. I think. Obviously, he does. Jeremy Withers does have the all time high score on USF four one hundred. Oh god. It, it's capped at ten, so <laughs> Yeah. It's for not good going reason. <laughs> maybe maybe third strike should get capped too. No no no, it's fun to watch Yuki <laughs> no. just go for the entire night. Yuki, Alex, Yang, whatever, man. Mm -hmm. Geniuses. Um I yeah, I guess, you know, speaking of Street Fighter, you know, I gotta go with uh I guess S T Super Turbo for number two. Um it's ah. the game, the game that got me into fighting games, I guess, because because of the free play community. So there's and there's uh, two grandfathered in high scores that are that involve win streaks at uh at 
free play. One of them is the aforementioned Winston at like 104 victories on Mortal Kombat 2. The other mm. one is your number two game, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, with a score of 7,202,340 points, Penelope. Okay, I swear I've seen way higher than that mm. some days. So I gotta remember that number, and I don't care who's playing, I'll take their high score. <laughs> I don't care who it is. <laughs> but man, no, it's cra- it is crazy how sometimes like those scores like pile up. Like, man, it's, it's ridiculous. Oh yeah, I see Jeremy. Yeah, it was it was a Tuesday night. It was yeah, it was the casual night where you challenge anybody to play any game, and I I challenge you to play Pong. I know it took me like two or three times to beat you. Mm. You know, and I took a picture with a trophy. And I think Chris Paga beat you in rock paper scissors. Yes, yes. See, I don't. I these are very. <laughs> I don't know how I remember these things, but it's um. Those are, those yeah. were fun nights. Yeah, it's it's. They did that. They did that on my birthday the first time. I was like, that's mm-hmm. we're throwing Chris a su- surprise birthday party, and we're going to run a tournament. And <laughs> the tournament is beat Chris at anything. You you make the call. Wait, that was your birthday that day? No, the first time. Oh, I did oh, it was, was the first time. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I like that format. Pretty mm-hmm. cool. It's very you know, it's it's pretty casual. Yeah. For lack of a better word. Yeah, I, I I like it too. I like it too. I, I don't I don't. I like I like to have games where multiple people win. Yes, definitely. The, um, the worst feeling is when I go like three or four, and I win, <laughs> and it's just like I don't. This isn't this isn't the point. Yeah, yeah. You, like we're exactly. going every game so that you pick a game that you're way better than me at. Yeah, yeah. I remember it was when you guys still gave out like the freaks and geeks, uh, <laughs> freaks, freaks and geeks, freaks and geeks. Gift certificate, like ten dollars. Yes. I remember going there and I bought like a small claw figurine, and I'm like, "Oh man, I lost my gift certificate." Yeah. And rest in peace to that place too. Uh, rest in peace, indeed. It's a great place, man. There, there was a cashier named there named Sean or something, not Sean Crane, but just another Sean. And uh, he, man, he. Have he you talks ever to... seen Sean Crane? No. No. I don't know who he is. Gotcha. I don't know. I. I haven't either. I did go to Japan with him, but I haven't seen him in, in yeah, the States. <laughs> and only Japan's... some of my time in Japan. Like, he disappeared the last part of my trip to Japan. Yep. Which is actually true. Oh, for real? <laughs> for real, he did, yes. <laughs> he did you? Yeah. Ask <laughs> ask his co- his former co-worker, uh, DGK. Oh, my gosh. He did, he did indeed dish me in Japan. Insane. Doesn't surprise me. Um, I guess... And we'll transition. We got the boss music coming up. Well, right now, for Final Fantasy IX. And, uh, you know, speaking of bosses, I guess number one, Pong, man. You yeah, know, why not? You're the world uh, champion. It's when people are like, this is BS, whatever. You're, you're cheating. I'm like, dude, it's like one dial. <laughs> right? <laughs> what are you doing? You type like, it in a secret code? Like, why, like, how are you so good? Like, you play this all the time. Like, you must know something you don't. I'm like, it's just one dial. <laughs> stay, stay in like, the middle. I'm not, I'm not hadoukening. I'm not wall diving. I'm not, you know, doing combos. Whatever, man. I'm not, I'm Get not that cheap cheating. paddle. Yeah, I'm not standing up, looking at you, <laughs> intimidating you. No, I'm literally like... <laughs> it's, White it's paddle is OP and Pong. Yeah. No, and then they're like, oh, are you pressing the buttons too at the same time? I'm like, no. <laughs> I, uh, it's beyond me. And, uh, you know, I feel like Pong, you know, I guess within I, my, my social group, my community of friends at free play, it's, it's a very polarizing game, you know. People hate me for it. People love me for it. But well, count, count no. me in the loving you category. <laughs> I was glad you came out to the Mike Reiner Memorial Pond. Oh, tournament. I have to. Yes. I live like ten minutes away from uh, the Plato Center. Yeah. So it's um, yeah, it was, it was an experience. I also like won a lot of the uh, the fair games next to it. <laughs> mm. So the, the I think the ladies were like, oh, so now you're just gonna get all our prize. I'm like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> and then I don't know, cause man. I guess I've never really won anything in my life before Pong. <laughs> well, I, no, no, no. I won. I don't know if you could. I don't know if this was online at the time, but I won my elementary school spelling bee when I was in grade four. Um, congrats, congrats. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm yeah. looking to you for all of my <laughs> typos and spelling t- <laughs> now. <laughs> uh, yeah, and it's um, I went to districts. You know, almost went to regionals, so it's like, um, yeah, I almost went to. The, like the whole national level scripts. And I, <laughs> I wish I, I wish I did, but I, 
God damn. But yeah, um, but yeah, like when I won Pong, it was a, uh, was bittersweet because you know played against Bryce for, God knows like forty five minutes to an hour. I heard I heard that one just kept that going was, on and on and on. It was long. Yeah. It was it was so long. Like I didn't want we didn't want to play anymore. That's the thing is like if you're good at like, Pong like you're not going to lose. Like, you don't ever beat the computer at Pong. It just decides at some point to let you win, oh, specifically. Yeah. I, th I think Johnny, Johnny Ibanez was like, was like, dude, I think you're the first person to beat the computer there. I'm like, cool. Cool. <laughs> yeah, it's... And then, and then after that, I beat the computer every time, and people were like, I think Chris Paga is really amazed how I can beat it. I'm like, I... I mean, you don't, you don't, yeah. you just, you just... You keep playing with it until it relates, yeah. and it's like, okay, well, we're done here. We're just gonna move the paddle to the side and let you win. Yeah, uh, man. If people think that computer's hard, I know Tommy can adjust the difficulty level to way higher. And I played against that. Mm. Oh my god, that's you. You think like, I guess you know, ST computer reading your inputs is bad, man. No, that. <laughs> yeah, I would assume that you could make <laughs> make it like infinitely hard, like oh, where you yes. could literally never beat it because it would yep. just never let the ball pass. Mm hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, there's no, uh, like you said, there's no higher strategy to Pong than other than hit the <laughs> ball back. Hit the ball back. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, well, like, I remember Jarrett. Jarrett would always play me, too. Uh, Jarrett, Mr. Jarrett Slagle himself, the uh, the jack of all trades in ST. Yes. Um, he uh, he would, I think before the tournament, I was giving people advice. I'm like, hey, like, uh, just go back to the middle after you hit it. Like, I guess that's one, you know, tip to, like, <laughs> Right. So it's, it's like there's <laughs> literally only zoning in that game, so. Yeah. Stay in the middle. Go back. Yeah, stay in the middle. And then Jarrett overheard me. He's like, bro, you need to stop telling people, man. You want to win this money? I'm like, oh, man. That's, that's when I knew free play was ruthless. I, um, I, I, we try to be friendly. <laughs> no, it was. But yeah, I don't know. That, that, was, that game. Although there's, uh, not much, also, there's not much to tell with Pong. I mean. Yeah, I mean, also, they're, they're like, I guess when I was still at Richardson, there's a lot of drunken couples who... And I would, I would see them play, and then I would play, and they're like, oh, you want to play for a beer? I'm like, oh, <laughs> okay. And then I'd win, they're like, what do you want? I'm like, um, you know, Miller Lite Tallboy. And there was, there was one night where this lady bought me seven. Oh, my God. And, and I That's did, a lot of Pong. I, yeah, I distributed them to Mr. Alex Alejandro, uh -huh. Jose Villarreal, and uh, James Matthews Jr. I'm like, I cannot uh -huh. drink all this. Please take this. It's all free. I want them. Boom. R.I.P. Alex. We miss you. He, he's supposedly coming back for the fourth Independence Day. I hope so. So, it, I dirt bet strike he better as either. well will have <laughs> been at free play way, 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 way more this year than Sean Crane. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, Sean. Um, yeah, I don't. My mom. <laughs> wait, my mentor? <laughs> what yes, happened yes. With that? The one that you haven't met. You're the, right. The one that has inspired you to play Dictator. Sean, we, uh, <laughs> we promise you, he plays Dictator a ton. <laughs> but no, I'm... I'm Why Ryu, I'm by the way? Ryu. I've seen you play Ryu lately. Got a, got a pretty decent Ryu. Okay, the... The moment that got me, I think, besides seeing, like, you know, Jeremy and Chad play him all the time. I mean, it's about, like, Nick, too. Like, even that, like, they're all incredible. But, like, when... The last Tuesday night fights, like, when, when everything shut down, like, right, right before it did... Yeah. When when Alex like did the double the, the triple juggle to the super to Tyler, oh yes. my god, that was. <laughs> I think that's the moment I'm like, dude, I gotta. <laughs> that's so cool. I know it's like probably not that hard, but it's like it, it's the crowd reaction. Yeah. Like, it was it was hype. It was insane. Well, it's and, great because uh, like you catch somebody air to air and then you jump mm -hmm. and hit them again. That's super rare to happen inside of uh, of one of those older or fighting games like that and then you end it with a super what's not to like nope. exactly and it's and plus it was such a hype like day he went on a great yeah. run that, that's alex is the all-time winning as champion we talked about yeah. jesus like alex has won more than anybody else <clears throat> so does that mean he just went to every tnf or something that too? means like if it like he won many third strike ones not a surprise but like <laughs> everything that was like an oddball game that he entered he would win in fact, in, that includes his first tournament that he was at Free Play 4. Uh, we talked him into playing, I want to say it was Marvel Super Heroes or, or one of mm -hmm. those early versus games. And he's like, I don't, I don't really play this. I'm not good. And it's like, that's not, that's not what we're all about here. We just, we just like playing the games. Like, yeah. You can, you can play. It's all good. 
uh, and he played and he won, right? And he's like, oh, I guess I'm okay, right? And that, that would be the way it would go down with almost yep. every game. He won a match for Melee. He, he just uh -huh. won so many. Um, See, or, that dude, I want to, you know, he, he just got great fundamentals. And I'm glad yeah. that you guys got him realizing that. Oh, uh, this favorite track of all time in any game. Oh, um, nice. Yeah, it's the, uh, to the Final Fantasy IX soundtrack. For yeah, the, the first overall theme mm -hmm. after you, you get out of Lindblom, I think. Is it Lindblom? I don't know. Either or. But yes, it's uh, this this track would just Confession always time play. I haven't played 9. Yeah, you gotta play 9. You gotta it was play. at the end of the cycle of that, that, that uh, yeah. the PlayStation 1, so I didn't have a that. PS1 at the time. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, you work at Free Play. I, I do. You're, you're the community liaison. You know, you're all about nostalgia. I need, I need, to, I need to spend 200 hours playing Final Fantasy 9, <laughs> a non-arcade game. It's actually not, it's not a hard one, unless you want to be a completionist, because one of the first things to the game is like, like, not a completionist. Have you seen me in yeah, the arcade? I, mean, <laughs> I know, but it's like one of the first thing, one of the first achievements in that game is like jumping over the ropes like a thousand times, mm -hmm. and you can just imagine the latency and like new ports. <laughs> so it's just like, oh my goodness. yeah, that's something I'll never do. Yeah, but but yeah, no, nine is a it's a good one. I've it's I've a, heard nothing but good things about Final Fantasy nine. Yeah, and uh, I personally don't like seven. Uh, ha, 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 ha. I, boo, J-Pon, boo this man. Ha, 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 ha. I, I have mixed. Like I, I like seven, but it's not, it's not my favorite. Um, it's like the, I haven't played the remake at all, but the new one yeah. is like. Sorry, the old one is is it's clunky. Like the graphics are clunky, mm -hmm. aged. But yeah, you know, it's just it's just not. It's, gonna age, it's not my all-time favorite. Gonna age well. But it's like it's got a very clear steampunk vibe to it, which I get why people really <laughs> really love it. Um, yeah. Eight, I mean, if you think I played yeah. it and it was nails on a chalkboard, that's the one I can't do. <laughs> uh, man, it's I don't know. I thought Squall was had the coolest hair back then. You know, I I played it and no, the draw system was very. Very just bad. That's it. That's I mean, it. That's a hundred percent. One hundred percent. It's the draw system. Yeah. And that's what. That's the reason I never played Final Fantasy Nine was because mm. at that point Final Fantasy oh, 8 yeah. was such a raw experience for me uh -huh. that I, I never even like bothered to go back because I had a PS2. I never yeah. got to bother to go back and play Nine. And then Ten awesome. came out. I played that one. And I loved it. Absolutely mm -hmm. loved it. Adored yep. it. It's my favorite. Yeah, I I played that. I I remember, man. This is. I played 10, and I didn't want to use any walkthroughs. I'm like, oh, man. I had no idea how to beat uh, Sen Spon Gui or whatever. Uh -huh. If you remember that, that, that tall boss, like, on a... The, oh, man, I forgot this. The first boss, or...? No, it's like... When... I forgot. The Not one, the first the one, boss. The one that attacks you on the, the, the ship? No, it's like the cliff. It's like you're on a cliff or something. Hmm. Or something. And, uh... I don't know. Oh, that's, speaking... Is that the one that's, that's um... Seymour. Like, Seymour helps you out. Seymour helps you out. Okay, okay.Eah. And, and then, um, oh, I see the haters. FF7 Haters Club. Yeah, like, if you think 7's the best one, have you played 4 and 6? Like, I don't know. Like, like 4 and, and I don't know. I, I love Final Fantasy. Mm -hmm. No way in hell will ever be a free play, but... <laughs> But yeah, that, knows, game, that game runs a little bit long <laughs> to, to put in free play. I mean, I'm, I heard from a birdie that consoles will be there eventually. Well, not birdie. Well, the CEO and lawyer or whatever. Corey Hyden. Uh, I can't speak for Corey. Eventually. <laughs> I saw it was on like a Facebook community post. I will say this. I have seen in the lab <gasps> many projects for free play. Amazing. Many, many projects. Amazing. It's hard for me to keep out, keep in my head straight what's in the arcade and what's not in the arcade, just because they they rotate in and out so much, and they're always working on new stuff. I'll be I'll be happy whenever we get back <clears throat> to like the end. The, yeah, the, as the, a, the, the, the where, where free play as it should be. Yep. Well, as one of free play Richardson's most uh, loyal patrons, I uh, I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. I'm, I, it will be well received. Uh. That would be much easier to stream than an actual arcade game. Oh, yeah. Streaming in an arcade... Streaming at all is hard. Streaming in an arcade mm -hmm. is exponentially harder. <laughs> streaming Golden Age games in an arcade is exponentially harder than streaming 
jamma based games like yeah Super because Turbo. i remember the billy mitchell right correct you guys yeah. had to use like yeah with external cameras i've been through so much nonsense i've been holding up my own iphone like this for an entire <laughs> tournament the, the i heard you did tournament. that for like spring series yes like, yes yeah yeah, Spring Series 1, the, all the footage from Spring Series 1 that's available is me literally holding a camera like this. And my <laughs> arm was going to fall off. You're crazy. Well, it was it's history, right? Yeah, I wanted right. to get to a point where we had history. And now we have history. Now I'm mm -hmm. looking at old man Jonathan Kim holding his Pong trophy. <laughs> old man. Which is, which is, you know, happened over a year ago. Oh my gosh, that's... Time flies. Right. But that's what I'm saying is like, yeah. now we have history, but because, you know, we recorded it. So it, mm -hmm. it very much meant something to me. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, and it still does. Know. So I, I, I streaming with consoles, much, much easier. Um, mm -hmm. So if that were to ever happen, I would be quite excited about the streaming possibilities. I really like... Have you seen uh, Jerry's VGGP? He did it a couple uh, of times sounds... on the stream. I would I, I would love for him to do it more. Um, sounds but familiar. I have not. What he does is he'll he'll stream a retro game like they did um, the Lion King. They had mm. uh, they had four different panels with four different people playing the same. Oh game at the yes, same time. yes, I remember that. Yes, yeah. yes. Oh I think that's gosh. a concept that works very well, especially for single player games. Quackshot indeed was one of them. Ian was in that. Mm -hmm. Not bitter. Um, the uh, <laughs> But they did it several times. It's a great format, and it lets you bring multiplayer elements into a single-player game. Because it was never like... Yep. I never felt like it was super serious either. Like, mm -hmm. you know, it was serious that Ian was trying to beat Quackshot. But it wasn't, you know... It wasn't like all the money was on the line for who won the race. That was never really the, the thing about it. It was just people friends playing the game together separately mm -hmm. and together and that's that's really really awesome so i i would love to be able to bring that format to multiple free plays at the same time that that'd be insane that'd be pretty cool <laughs> yeah yeah i think yeah, so so hopefully hopefully but yeah um i don't know i've uh never in my life would imagine being at an arcade like Literally every day, if not every other day. I mean, for like a year, and still, still going strong. Still I know, going, me too, right? Like, still, I'm there more. I'm there longer than like a lot of the employees, which is, <laughs> man, I, I don't know how you'll, I do it. You'll catch me eventually. Yeah, I don't. Now I'm working too, working from home too, this whole time. Like, mm -hmm. man, I don't. It's, oh, it's I'm so happy to get back to it. Same. It's just dedication. I, I love the place. Love the people. I um, love, you know, the beer. <laughs> I love I, Marvel too. I'm glad you love the beer. Of course. You you helping keep us alive for sure. <laughs> Thank you so oh, much. Oh yeah, no, it's the least I could do. I know. Uh, I know. Jer I wish Jeremy could come out. I know he's uh, still trying to find ways to support sure. free play, and he's he's stuck right. at home for good reasons. Yeah, Very good for reasons. everybody. Who, who cannot yes I, I exactly I understand during this period so I, I don't I don't have any ill will towards anybody who cannot make it out I'm just super thankful mm -hmm. for the people who are because right now like you're keeping us afloat yeah for everybody who who can make it out <clears throat> yeah like, uh, man being there like Saturday and there only being like five or six people at night sometimes like that it breaks my heart but also like it it just is what it is right now if if anybody wants to play at free play like that's what the community group is for that's what all the side chats are for that's what mm -hmm. me giving out my number is for um if you want to play a game at free play then i want to play a game with you so send me a message if you're feeling any game i've, I've been taking it upon myself to play long sets of street fighter dirt strike every day <laughs> um this just go in there like like if i get 05 that's that's just fine with me people need to have people to play games with so i'll be that person it's not exactly a curse exactly and and you're that person too so i i really really appreciate you uh, this is this is me too the, man you, always fun matches 
you're at this part point in the Hall of Fame only because you only go to Richardson, basically. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Because you're there every single day. There's no one who <laughs> deserves to be on the Hall of Fame like um, more than you. Like you're just there every day. You're the quintessential site with free play Richardson, as I was when uh, there was only one free play. Mm-hmm. So I, I saying you're in the Hall of Fame is like the most duh thing. Yeah, I think I attended like every like you know party there too, you know. It's uh, even Stranger Things like that was a great party. No, I'm not. I'm not even like a fan of that show, but yeah, it was great. It was amazing. Yeah, it was like the wall thank thing. you. All oh right. yeah, yeah, yeah. I have For to sure. end all of these with with the three questions from Penelope. So let's see. Oh yeah. What? That's so many questions. I I literally asked Boy Edwards every single one of these. <laughs> oh man. I love Ed. Actually, no, I love Ed. Ed's great guy. Killer game collection, too. Yes. He like, does have killer. more games than I do. Oh, man. <laughs> These questions are so insane. Uh, who's the best Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle? Oh, my gosh. Can I even that, name the, more than The two? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Michelangelo. came out. It came out seven years before you were born. So. Okay, okay, okay. Can I can I name them first? Like Raphael, Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello. Is that it? Th those are the those are the one more in the game. Yeah. Okay. You know, I don't, man, I don't know the different. I I was never really big into the show game or whatever. The green um, one is your answer. Is it? I don't know. But <laughs> no, no, no. But my fa my favorite painter artist of all time is Raphael. There so you I'll, go. I'll go with Raphael. Cool. <laughs> That's a, that's a, that's that's as fine of a of a uh, <laughs> right. way to answer that as I can think of. Plus, it makes Mike feel old, so I like it. <laughs> oh, oh man, I uh, yeah, I, I I watched Pokemon and Dragon Ball Z and uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh. Every Saturday. Um, I don't even know the difference. Was it GT? I don't know. The one where Goku. I, I don't know. I, I don't. <laughs> man, I'm so bad. I guess I watched more Yu-Gi-Oh though, every Saturday morning on WB Kids, mm -hmm. with with a bowl of a, uh, a frosty frosted flakes. Uh, I always correct everybody with the with the turtles though. It's clearly the answer is Venus de Milo. <laughs> Venus. De Milo. Oh man. Um, if you were to be reincarnated, what animal would you like to be? It's <sighs> a good question. Um, honestly, you know... Something with a claw? Uh, no. I was thinking about that. <laughs> uh, you know what? You know all those stories? You know, I'm hating. People hate me. People love me. But uh, a cockroach. You know, like, you know how they don't die? Like, they survive some, like, nuclear stuff? Co collectively, they don't die, yes. Yeah, they're pre that's pretty cool. And I want to live forever. So, <laughs> a cockroach. Okay. J-Pong. Aspiring to be a cockroach. That's yep. Or like we don't you know, do the e-break anymore. Was it was it the cockroach and it's like SpongeBob just eating a burger? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> this is like is it, now it's like a meme or something. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Hmm. Cats or dogs? <sighs> I'm allergic to cats, so I have to pick dogs. There you go. But I love cats. Fair enough. Does that mean you can't come over? Because I have I cats. I cannot. I cannot. It is ah. so bad. It is. I gotta, man. I gotta take like five Benadryls. I understand. And I, and then by the time I get there, I'll pass out. Cause I, I went to Jerry Holtz for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And uh, man, I felt it right away. And I was hiving. I'm like, I gotta go. <laughs> I don't even like. I can't even recall what his cat looks like. And I was there. Yeah, uh, but like the dander. Yeah, you know, no, I get you. You're that, that, that killed me. Oh, yeah. dang. That sucks. But, but uh, yeah, yeah, Car Carlos's place, he has a, a garage, like a, the garage room, but his cats aren't in there. So I, that, that helps. And I don't think, yeah, he doesn't let his cats go in there. So that helps. I haven't asked you so. this uh, yet. I want to take a break from, from, the, from the Penelope questions to ask you, what, what do you think about the name, J-Pong? Because you didn't give yourself <laughs> that name. You gave it to me. Correct. Um, Well... Growing up, people called me J. Kim, mm. and I, 
I like despise being called Jake him. I guess it, bad memories from a person, but like I like being called. I prefer being called Jonathan, but I feel like you know we need these uh, what is it? These these usernames, mm-hmm. screen names, or something. So yeah, I, I feel like Jay Pong is very fitting. Uh, I know. What is it? I know Yuki texted me recently. He was like, "Hey, like, are you called Jay Pong because of Jay Wong?" I'm like, "No, you know what? Hey, that, I'll, I wish, but I guess sure, why not?" <laughs> No, it was so, that. Yeah. Was, that was the thought. You're the you're the pro really? world champion. Yes. So, it's it is an allusion to Jay Wong. Yeah. Can I have it? Uh, can you stylize it differently sometimes, like with all caps and three Gs? Yeah. Yeah. I got. I, I got know you. he does that sometimes. Sometimes, yes. Yeah. So here, let's see here. It's like, it's something like this, like that, right? All caps. All, all caps. caps. All caps. All caps. All caps. <laughs> So yes, it's it's an allusion to uh, the player that Michael Beltran has met but did not know. <laughs> yeah, I remember hearing that story, and also him and uh, like Alex Valle too, right? Correct. Yes, he met both of those <laughs> both of those dignitaries without having any clue as to who they were. Man, God bless him. He's a, it's okay. He's a treasure. I probably would have I probably would have thought the same if it was like a year or two ago. Man, okay, next time that happens, I'm going to I'm going to get like Mike. <laughs> to tell whomever the celebrity player is, like, his association to the Pong World Champion. <laughs> <laughs> just have him, like, go on and on about knowing the greatest Pong player in the world. Just watch yeah, their I, eyes roll. I don't know. I've, uh, I, I, I just want to play it again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right, I want it Fort Worth? Let me know when you're going out there. Let me Because uh, there's, there's Fort Worth ST players. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they absolutely would love to play you. Well... In, in some way, they would love to play you. <laughs> Bring it on. Yeah, Bring it on. For sure. So let me know. Um, let's close it up the way we always do. What's your favorite color? Red. Red. There you go. Penelope, if you're listening, put it in the uh, in the <laughs> spreadsheet. Jonathan Kim's favorite it, color, red. Is that a popular one? Uh, well, there's no, there's no like type of red. You didn't give us a, a variety of red. But oh, well, I like generically, yes. Someone it's, says red or blue, typically. It's a vibrant, it's a vigorous color. It's the color of blood, too. And that's what happens because I see it when I lose an ST a lot because you know there's blood on the, his, broken, his broken claw. Okay, yeah. well, it looks like we're not done yet. I need to ask you about playing guitar. Do you have a band, <laughs> sir? Yes, sir. I have What's a your band? band? We're called Mousetrap. Mousetrap. Do if you have a website? Familiar... Can, I, can I point you to the web? <laughs> point people to the website? Yeah. Yes, uh, it is mousetrapmusic.bandcamp.com. Uh, if you are familiar with Bryce Cantrell, he is he plays bass in it. Um, I guess yeah, I guess people know I play guitar now. Mouse I guess during music during COVID, yeah during COVID, I bought like four guitars. Holy I, cow! I, what kind? Yeah, that's uh, 2019 Gibson Les Paul Classic, uh, 2005 Rickenbacker 360 Fireglow, um, a 1970s. Yamaha FG180 acoustic guitar. Okay, maybe I only bought three, but yeah, so three. But did like dream guitarists in every way for me. And yeah, that's how much money I was spending at free play. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Um, let's see, there's the website for Mousetrap. Um Man, that's no, I I, I know you got you've offered to, to let me use some of one of your songs for like a <laughs> Like a show, which, which by the way, we 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 can always use more music. Like we just need that. Just uh, do Will it. guy needs to know your credit card number. He has some things to oh. buy in Nigeria. <laughs> oh my gosh, man! There were actually some fraudulent charges recently on my card from like California. So. <laughs> 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 bad, bad memories. Yes. All right. no. H- hang in there, everybody. Uh, go support Jonathan Kim because he supports us. So no, nah, support trap. support everybody. Support everybody. You know? Yeah. So thanks for joining us. It's six thirty. Uh, I have to get to the pinballers, but uh, I will probably see you tonight after the uh, after the the live matching game. Yeah, I gotta pick up my car. <laughs> <laughs> it, well, depends. it depends on if you're sticking around and playing. Yeah. Well, of course. Well, take it easy, y'all. Enjoy. I enjoy the pinball conversations. I respect it. I suck at it, but it's uh, 
You would be great at pinball. Yeah. Don't don't sell no. yourself short. You would be great at pinball. I'm a thousand oh. percent sure. <laughs> I wish. I it's will take all it about easy. Playing pinball. Yeah. <laughs> You, you, if you can if you can win a champion a world championship at Pong, you can definitely play pinball. I don't know. I'm I'm getting older. I don't know if I can handle it. Yes, <laughs> he is, he is an old man now. This J Cam. I'm 25 after all. Mm -hmm. Holy cow! <laughs> all right, well, you guys take it easy. You guys take it easy. All right, thanks, Jonathan. All right, bye. Bye. That is Jonathan Kim, the Pong world champion. One of the uh, the greatest guys and most hated players, thanks to his claw prowess. Free play Richardson. Great, great dude. David, how are you? I'm great. I'm trying to figure out what games we're going to pick for our pinball challenges for the month. Yeah. Yeah, we should, we should get it. Whenever, whenever we throw it over to begin the show. How about this? What's your favorite video game background music?